Hey everybody, hi, it's Rob at Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. And um, November, excuse me, December 17, 2023, 2.20 a.m. Saturday night, Sunday morning, technically. And um, just feel like doing another video. Uh, it's Christmas time, it's already the 17th. So what do we got? Eight days to Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Happy Hanukkah that just passed to all the rest of you and happy holidays. Um, happy New Year coming up. And um, yep, today wife got on there and did uh, the intro for the first video. But maybe she'll be doing a, a parents on the Engine Masters Roadkill Garage as um, a host. <laughs> we'll see how that works out uh, anyway so today I went to the Mojo Sports Mojo Breaks so they're a breaking company like online breakers they have a shop over here in Santa Clara where they do their breaks and in the front of the store they sell cards and they're having a big holiday sale right now and like you know me I like Ginter so the 2023's are only 99 um, I brought in a Shohei Otani Chrome card to turn in for the buyback and so I got my $20 discount after everything and uh, one of the cards they had on that table where other people will go in and open their boxes if they like to uh, some people go in there and just break at a table and the stuff they don't want they just leave aside and they have football basketball hockey and baseball and I've got free Ginter minis there before and some some of these people they just don't care like they'll leave some of these really good um, rookie cards and stuff like that they're just going for the hits but they have the Showtime card there so this is the exact same card I turned in except the other one was Chrome obviously so even though I lost an Otani I gained at least the paper Otani back and then I got a super cool card that in maybe 40 years this will be a big one 40 or 50 years down the road somebody might be like oh I sure like to have that uh whatever that leaders card is for the AL home run leaders for Judge Trout and Alvarez all three of those guys are epically good and I sure would like to pick up Alvarez for the Cubbies so that was one of the free cards I picked up uh, then I bought a box of that 2023 Topps Chrome Black and I got an Estuary Ruiz rookie card so that was nice and I got your New York Yankees future star Juan Soto that was the second base card and then I in that pack I also pulled the Tanner BB rookie card number 49 of 150 purple um, parallel or whatever refractor parallel so he's a pitcher so I'm gonna have to sit on this for a while uh, maybe that'll be good someday who knows um, the autograph that we got it's nothing big as of right now to write home about but still a nice card Drew Waters outfielder rookie card it's cool there in black and white uh, on card autograph um, Kansas City Royals so we'll see if he pans out or not hopefully he does beautiful card um, it's neat to get that stuff um, just on the names that we got I would say it probably wasn't worth what I paid for it by any means but time will tell um, but it was neat to open a box of them show you guys uh, there are some nice cards and uh, if you can pick up you know one of the big big hits then definitely be worth it and I give them props because look at that on card autographs at that price level I think it's 180 to 200 dollar somewhere in that ballpark normally and they had them off like fifty dollars off or whatever uh, so my point being is the beautiful cards uh, kind of remind me a little bit of those um, Bowman 
Platinums, the Walmart ones, just, you know, not as psychedelic, so to speak, but they are beautiful, nice cards, and you get on-card autograph, which you can't even say out of some of the tops high-end products so um, I'm glad you know I'm not I don't regret buying it because it was cool to see one I wouldn't um, mind buying one again in the future someday um, but it's not something I'm gonna run out and buy like five or six boxes like some other stuff that you see before you um, but yeah it's a modern new style classic baseball card uh, I'm Rob at Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. Um, so, say I'm 80% into old and 20% into maybe prospecting and some of the new stuff. So, um, beautiful card nonetheless. Then the Archive Signature Series box that we opened today. Still looking for Alan and Ginter stuff, but still solid. Keith Hernandez. Uh, number five of 48 and uh, that's an 86 record breakers card from you know he was an 85 record breaker and of course the card was in the 86 top set uh, buyback beautiful it looks like this came right out of like a complete set or maybe a vendor's box or something like that centering's off on the card but that's okay a beautiful signature just beautiful and uh, I've looked at some of his other cards, and um, he he does a good job of um, finding a place on the card where his signature will look good. And some of the other ones that he's done on these, not just this card, but some of the other different cards that the signature series have. Um, nevertheless, um, not a Hall of Famer. Um, you know, I don't know, a lot of people allow politics to get involved in um, their decision making and uh, I think you should go by their baseball record what they did in baseball whether they're you know that's like their stats and all that and as opposed to like some of these guys who aren't in the Hall of Fame because they cheated at baseball you know if you're not a great person outside I'm not talking about him outside of baseball then that shouldn't really matter um, but anyways, looking up his numbers and a lot of what he's done, yeah, I'd say he definitely belongs in the Hall of Fame, and that's one of the problems I do have with the Hall of Fame, is it's way over top loaded with just offensive numbers, and he has pretty decent offensive numbers, and he did a lot of decent offensive things, like if you read this card, he was like the leader in, um, all-time game-winning RBIs, which for whatever reason they stopped tracking anymore. But, I mean, the dude was like 11-time Gold Glover, however many All-Star games. Um, short, shared an MVP one year. It was considered like the best fielding first baseman. Um, had a lot of hits, good batting average, just not a lot of home runs, which people criticize, thinking first base should be a home run hitter spot. And multiple home, um, couple of uh, World Series there, and um, yeah, and I just don't get it. Like, why does Ozzy Smith get into the Hall of Fame? Because you say, oh, he's the best shortstop ever, but offensively, I wouldn't say he was great. You know, he was okay, I guess, for him, but yet yeah, he's in the Hall of Fame. But, oh, he's a great defensive player. <laughs> This dude was a great defensive player and had pretty pretty close to Hall of Fame offensive numbers in a lot of those categories. Then you throw the, the defense on top of that, and that dude should be a shoe-in. So I believe someday he'll get in the Veterans Committee unless they're going to, um, you know, play politics or whatever. Uh, that's my opinion, so... Superstar, nonetheless. I, I think this card is going from 40 to 50, um, what people are asking for it. All right, and uh, picked up some other free cards while I was over there at the Mojo shop. If you go back and watch that video where I do a little walkthrough, 
check them out. You know, if you're into brakes, you could check them out online, whatever they do there. And, um, but if you're in the area, yeah, go check that out. It's off of 101 in San Tomas on Duane. Uh, it's kind of a frontage road next to 101 there. And, um, yeah, they, 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 they got prices that even the local card shops can't compete with because they do brakes. So they buy, you know, they buy cases of like this stuff. And then, of course, they set a few cases aside. They, and then they can sell their boxes for $20, $30, $50 less than the local card shop. So, um, yeah, it's definitely worth the money. But you're just not going to get older stuff there. So you're not going to find anything more than a year or two old. Um, but this was like 99. I think the LCS is doing like 145 to 150, and maybe with the discounts, 130 at best. You know, maybe 135, 130. It depends how well they like you. And right now, these are going for 99. So I was like, yeah, I'll pick up another one, give it another shot. Uh, let's see, we got the Winfield, Mattingly Hernandez. And the Greg Maddox out of that rack pack yesterday that I picked up in Albuquerque at Game Time Sports up there on Eubank. And then from a boy, um, Gerald Ford, got some football cards for you. Mike Singletary, one of the greats from 85 Bears and beyond. So linebacker, one of the greats. Uh, one of the 49ers coach to Ty Law, Patriots. Couple cowboys there, Luke Shoemaker, CD Lamb, and uh, Rokan Smith, former Chicago Bear with the Ravens. Jackson, Jason Churio, some football, uh, basketball for the basketball fans, Luca. And then that was the Clemens and Bobby. And... All right, so. There's my little recap, and I want to do some Alan and Ginter because it's Christmas time, and that's my favorite set to open. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's my party, and I'll uh, cry if I want to. Oh, doggy, man, almighty Rob. I'm getting the vapors up in here with all these lights on in the studio. Mm, doggy, it's uh, mighty hot in here. Uh, and uh, I tell you, I'm getting the vapors, and I need me a mint julep or uh, or um, one of those um, mojitos, mint mojito, to cool me off. A nice lemonade or some iced tea or an Arnold Palmer. Ooh, midnight in the garden of Allen and Ginter's and Evil. All right, let's see what we got. I'm working on it, folks. <laughs> All right, so 2023 Alan Ginter, probably the eighth hobby box. <laughs> Gone crazy this year, but I like it. And we're mostly looking for um, short prints and inserts and stuff like that this time around, or obviously some of the bigger cards, which guaranteed three hits. Relic, rip card, printing plates, book cards, or autograph cards, most likely many framed, but... We've done pretty good on autographs this year. I'd say five out of the seven, or four out of the seven. Um, but we've done horrible as far as um, other kind of inserts. We got one rip card, base rip card this time around. We've got no Brooklyn backs, only one no number card, uh, no book cards, no uh, oddball relic cards like the music to your ears or anything. No triple rip cards, no stained glass, nothing. So that's kind of what I'm looking for this time around, or some otter or more rare. All right, so we got an N43, so that's different at least. I think this is our second N43, so it's not a relic. You can see right through these, so I'm going to see what it is before I uh, talk to you guys about it. All right. Who do we get? It's probably a pretty good one, I think. 
Oh, not who I'm thinking it is. Oh, that's too bad. All right, folks, bear with me a minute. All right, folks, I am back. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'll open it yet, but uh, it's a pretty good one. I mean, it's not an autograph, I'm pretty sure, but it, uh, it um, appears to be a N43 Shohei Otani. Um, so that's cool. Let's set that aside for right now. And I think this time we're just going to go right down the middle. And uh, we'll save that for over the next few days. All right. So we'll just get started. And uh, hopefully we'll get some um, Brooklyn back or metal card or wood card finally. Uh, that would be nice. There's your hobby pack. Uh, opened enough of this stuff. You guys are probably sick and tired of it. Sorry about that. But it's my favorite set. And uh, Jag Nabbit, I want to get something big. Belly old rookie card. And the one ones if they have them, should be right here in the front this year. Zach Greinke. David Ortiz. Menenses. Rookie card. Blade. Oh, we did get some kind of a bit of a short print here. JJ Blade. Alright, I'll look at that card after we got to do it, people. Alright, there we go. Talented. Secretary Bird from Talented. So that's cool. It's a beautiful card. Goofy and serious card all at the same time. I love that about Alan and Ginter. I know some people don't. Our first bigger short print. An in action card, so that's nice. This is like the third in action card that I pulled out of all these Allen and Ginters, like eight hobby boxes and like 20 blasters. And this is like only the third in action card we pulled. So these are cool cards. That's Corbin Burns. Dig the old camera there in the back. So that's nice. So we already got a show time and an in action. And our mini card is Ordonez. So don't recognize seeing that one very much. If at all. Alright. So. That is a short print. 320. So that's pretty cool. I'll turn that light off for a minute. See if this is any better. Maglio or Donez. So. All right, so that's cool. Set that aside over here. And I'll skip that pack. Use this pack as... <clears throat> I'm going to use the second pack to cover up my minis. But I do think the relics come about the second, third, or fourth pack of each row this year round. It seems to be... <clears throat> All right, so... If you don't know, I'm a mini collector, so I like to look at my minis last. All right, we got a Henry rookie card for you Diamondbacks. Alvarez rookie card for the Mets. Hall of Famer Ricky Henderson. 
don't think that's the short print. No. Yoshia rookie card for you, Red Sox fans. All right. Wilson Contreras. Fernando Tatis Jr. for you Tatis fans. And the Claves. There you go. Dude, I was at uh, Goldberg. Who's the one that pulled that um, music to your ears? Relics of the Claves. Uh, he's a big Ginter fan. But I wish I could pull what he pulled because I've never gotten anything super weird like that without just buying because I did buy two of them the violin and the uh, um, uh, what is that other thing called some kind of like <clears throat> that's kind of like a tambourine all right then a mini a hey, black border so that's cool David Cohn and I talked about how I believe got him in signature series this year so that's a Many cards are a short print just by nature because there's only one per pack. Out of these eight cards, only one of them is a mini, so it's a short print compared to the full size card. It's a black border, which is uh, probably the second or third level hardest short print to get. You know, it's mini card short print by itself. A and G back than anything over 300 then black and gold borders about one per ten packs and then it is over 300 on top of that so it's kind of a short short it's a short print short print short print it's not a short 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 print but it's like short print by being a mini it's a short print being a black border and it's a short print for being over 300 so that's solid card David Cohn as a Yankee. All right. Next we got this beautiful pack. I love Alan Ginter. I just love it. I'm gonna um, be hoarding Alan Ginter's the rest of my life, and I'm probably gonna die under a stack of boxes filled with Alan and Ginter cards, like somebody collecting newspapers for 50 years. All right, Fowler, J-Rod, so that's nice. Oh, two in a row, two nice ones. Number three, Cruz. So there you go, O'Neal Cruz. If he comes back, he's solid. Mulder, um, left the FBI for the A's, unless he's undercover. Hank Aaron. Alphabetically, the first person in the Hall of Fame. Hall, alphabetically. Another Hall of Famer, Cal Ripken Jr. with the cool Orioles hat that I love. That design, and that's a short print. And Steven Strasburg. Spotless spans. And our mini is a short print of Fotine from Canada. I might already have, oh, yeah, International Delights. I may have this card, I'm not sure. Um, but if not, that's cool. It's still, that's a higher short print, so that's like one in 37 packs or something like that. So that's like a short, short print. Not a super short print, but a short, shorty short print. All right, we got five more packs to go, and we should be getting at least one hit out of this row of cards um, in action does not count as a hit yeah it's just another short print like this is like a full size version of getting something like that alright so Ozard Smith again Tarania. Adjust this camera just a little bit more, folks. For whatever reason, I feel like I'm reaching a little more today, so I'm going to move this whole thing. 
All right. Mr. Trey Mancini, good luck to you. All right, this is going to be cool, people. There's a Pedroia card. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love it. California Condor. I love me these talented cards, people. I just do. I love that set. It's funny. And it's got some beautiful artwork like this right here. And see him circling over you out here in California? You're in deep trouble. And you know what? I've seen some of these guys one time. Me and a guy at work were driving, getting on the freeway, head back to our office. And right there on, our, in, on the on-ramp, the shoulder off the on-ramp, there was like 15 of these birds just sitting there. And they were going after something, so um, that was neat. Uh, I don't know if it was a California condor or not, but it was like, it seemed like one of these kind of things. It was either a condor or what's that other one? Um, vulture. So that's nice. All right, folks, our first hit of the night, and this is cool because uh, I think the card of the set, like the base card of the entire 2023 Allen and Ginter set, uh, the normal kind of cards you can get. Now that is a short print, is out of the hot box. And it's the coolest looking card from 2023 Allen and Ginter, in my opinion, so far that I've seen. It was the hot box version of his base card, and now we've got a relic to boot to go with it. So that is an Ermsey relic card. So that's cool. I like the odd ones. I, I do like these oddball ones. And if you ever see this card in the hot box version, the you know the foil the shiny foil and all this is like 3d it's just beautiful card go look at one of my videos showing that card and um, his autographs going for a pretty good amount a couple hundred bucks uh, but here we go we got a relic of him and I think even the relics are going for 20 or 30 dollars and it's not just plain old white at least it's something so that's super cool a and G relic A, so this is the A type, and it's just an E for Ermsey. Genuine tops Allen and Ginter relic card that features memorabilia from Ermsey artist, and uh, the memorabilia contained in this card is not from any specific year or event. Uh, just you know, it's just an artist, so that's cool. And I think he's done some tops cards or uh, some of that 2020 or whatever project. So that's cool. I dig that. If I'm going to get a relic, I think it's cool to get something different like this. You know, if I want a baseball relic, it's either going to be like Hall of Famer or a big, big superstar or a rookie, in my opinion. Other than that, I would rather have the celebrities, let's just call it the non baseball relics, because there's not a lot of products that you're ever going to get those in. I can get a, you know, Alex Verdugo relic in just about every other product or I don't know Mount Castle or something like that so that's cool uh, it would be cool if it was on the foil um, hot box version but I'll take it that's not bad all right so now we're looking for short prints Arias from Miami number 41 so it stands true that the um, blasters do a lot better for getting short print minis. Um, so we're one or four packs in, and well, I guess we three out of four short prints. So it's it's running about the same. I spoke too soon, folks. Alright, next. I've never seen the relics or the hits come in the same row. So, the rest of this should just be looking for the stuff like that in action card or Brooklyn back or a no number or something like that. 
be nice to get a medal finally or a wood card after all these years this is a cool card see you like that I'd rather get that relic than uh, well not the next guy or the next guy after that <laughs> Jeez. all right these are gonna be a little out of order that's a cool looking card <laughs> that's neat I dig it um, I would rather get Ermsey's or this guy's relic than say Smith you know nothing against Will Smith but you know, or definitely I'd rather have it than this you know this guy because you can get these two guys relics probably across most all the tops products and you know you're gonna come across these in those high-end products heritage and flagship and stuff like that this guy's relic you're only gonna get an Allen Ginter and you're only gonna get it one year you can get these guys relics for 15 20 years that they play so that's a cool card and then the next card I was talking about well yeah obviously I'd rather have his relic there's your Ronald Acuna Jr. MVP. A little off center, maybe. And then a Miggy Cabrera, the Tigres. So you'd want to have his relic, that'd be cool. Next, Byron Buxton. Short print. High number short print, 390. So any, anything over 350, I'm calling the high number short prints. The mini can only come in a rip card and a variation. Bo Bichette, spotless bands. Then our mini card out. We're on track, doing pretty good on the short prints at least. So McCarthy, not the senator. Not Washington senator or for the Washington senators. But the Diamondbacks, Jake McCarthy. I'm not sure what position he plays. Uh, looks like he's pretty new. 120 some odd games. It doesn't say rookie card on there, so must be a second year. Okie dokie. Three packs to go key. And I'm going to have to let them guys know when I got those other cards coming in so they can call in at least or get on their little NSA thing and watch the card break when the time comes but I think they're gonna want to be here so um, here you go Mr. Goldberg Derek Jeta Derek Jeta there you go there's a single maybe a double uh, single base card there you go dude there's Derek Jeter your eyes Curious. Mr. Gordon. It's weird. Right in the middle, these get stuck together. Tovar, rookie card for the Rockies. Uh, Berrios, Toronto. Cubs haven't done anything yet, as far as I know. I haven't really made any moves, but I heard there might be some rumor going around with them in Pittsburgh some, somehow doing something. Who knows? Colas, he's the relic that we got out of one of those flagship collector's box from Costco. Out of the update. And Fun in the Sun surfing. All right. And our mini card is going to be Perez for the Royals. Not Steel, Salvador Perez. Not Perez Steel. But there you go. So, a base. Alright, final two packs, folks. Yeah, so far this box, I'd say is a B. I mean, the Ermsey Relic is pretty cool. 
The Shohei Otani N43 is pretty cool, but it's not autographed as far as I can tell. We've got an Acuna and some short prints. So you got to judge the hobby box is different than you do the blaster. Have we pulled a relic out of a blaster? I'd say you're epic. We pulled that many short prints, especially the minis, in my opinion, out of a blaster, we'd be like pretty close to epic. But hobby boxes, different animal, different odds. You should be getting a lot better stuff than like if you got this stuff in a blaster, you'd be like, that's pretty good for a blaster. And along with that relic on top of it, then you would say, hey, you won on a blaster. That's like asking for more than normal. Get an autograph on, you know, to boot, then then you're like extraordinary. Um, but these hobby boxes, um, yeah. As many as we've opened, we should be coming across something good. You know, we should be getting a metal, a printing plate, uh, numbers countdown, a, a World Series team, a rip card, double rip card, printing plate, autograph, um, Brooklyn back, no number at least, you know, and so far, no dice cards Lefko Casas Rookie card Hall of Famer Rod Crew Mr. Bueller Of course Raphael Devers but you know you get a lot of cards in a box so Don Drysdale Spotless Fan Uh, we should have come across something like that or what you know now they got the mini 101s glossies because in the past it used to just be full size 101s and now they do glossy 101s so that's what 350 times 2 700 101s out there possibly an extra 50 if, if you, they do the full size 101s for the 351 up. All right. Ginter's back. Vientos. Rookie card. Pretty nice. But it is numbered. So number 101. Alan Ginter back. So another short print. But probably the lowest short print that you can get. You know, so. Should be... 700 101s out there. Um, over a thousand printing plates. Um, a couple thousand metal cards. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that we should have gotten something by now. My little Waters card got her autograph. So, cute, pickleball, professional, Analia Waters, Leia, Leah, Lay, I'm not sure. Um, her card is, uh, her autograph cards are going for a pretty good penny, and I picked one up on an auction, and I got a good deal on it, and uh, I think she's one of the ones that, when you look at the mini compared to this card, it has a different colored background, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But she'll go beside herself in some of those other cards. All right, we got a Diaz, Edwin, Riley, uh, Sarah Langs. Her autograph's gone for a pretty good amount. Max Scherzer. Worth is this card worth it? Well, it's worth a little more because it is a short print, Jason Worth. And you know, it's always good to get a Mike Trout of any kind, and whether it's an insert or not. So, the Mike Trout spotless fan. And to wrap up the first third of this break, we got a green rookie card that's blue and purple and kind of mint green and that is a Riley green 
and G back, but is numbered as well. So still haven't got a hit, um, a non-hit hit, so to speak. All the stuff I was just rambling about. But let's take a look here. Little recap. Uh, so that was eight packs, I believe. One A and G, two A and G black. So that's three, four, high number, five, six, and then these are your base, seven and eight. So six of eight short prints. So that's pretty good. I know we got like three short prints out of the full size card. Waters is nice, but we got an Acuna Jr. So MVP. An Ermsey Relic, and this is a pretty good short print. So, throw on the uh, Shohei Otani in 43. Um, maybe I'll open it. And one of the other two rows, I'm going to hold on to it for now. So, uh, six for eight. Got that kind of seven for nine, but that's definitely a higher short print than any of those. Um, this might be like getting a no number somewhere in that ballpark. This is somewhere between like a no number and a Brooklyn back, so to speak. And we got a solid relic, a really good relic. So that's a pretty good one to get. So not bad. Uh, I'd say what's I would say that row I would give that an A to A plus for not being an autograph or anything extra. So I'm gonna call that row an A because this is definitely these two right here plus him and these that that's easily an A. So this box is a winner so far. Also got the Keith Hernandez signature series. Drew Waters, Tops Chrome Black, and uh, the Tanner BB, AL Home Run Leaders, Trout Judge Alvarez with the Showtime, the BB number to 150, Juan Soto, and Estery Ruiz rookie card at least. So there you go, that's number two video for. To me, it's more like Saturday night, but it's technically Sunday. Um, so I'll probably wake up tomorrow and do some more. And um, there you have it, folks. Um, pretty nice stuff. Ermsey, the artist. So cool. Alright, we don't see much of these, so take a good look. Take a look at me now, Mr. Phil Collins. Alright, everybody. Good night.